Okay, today we're going to talk a little bit about ultrasounds. I'm going to try and cover ultrasound scans in the first one, part one, and then we'll talk a bit about fibro scans, part two. The first thing to understand about ultrasound scans is that everyone who has Hep B should try to get at least one ultrasound scan of their liver done. Across some um, Afro-Asia, uh, we find a lot of patients forget this, and uh, it, it's a very valuable investigation. So, there's uh, how an ultrasound looks. You get a chappy with a um, radiography device that looks inside your uh, liver. Here he is, checking someone's liver. Um, it's a painless procedure, so do get it done. And it gives you an insight uh, into the way that the liver looks. They can clearly see the density of the liver, any scarring on the liver, any fats in the liver. They can also see uh, gallstones. They can see uh, hepatomengelis. They can see little granulas, cysts, um, bridging fibrosis, portal fibrosis. There's a lot of deep understandings that come from the scan, including acytes, varices. Um, it's a comprehensive look at the liver. Now, it tends to be graded. Uh, it's given these scores. If you, sorry, if you look over here, uh, one to four on a scale termed the Metavir scale. Now. Um, basically, anything up to seven with Hep B is absolutely fabulous. You are tip-top healthy, life expectancy very, very long. It should be remembered, most Hep B is contracted by the person when they're children. So, you know, your scan is showing you the result of maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 years of having Hep B. And if your scan is under seven, it means in all those decades of having Hep B, the Hep B's had no effect. Your F0, your F1, you're, you're in a great space. Well done. Enjoy that. F2 shows uh, that there is a little uh, fibrosis. You know, fibrosis means scarring or hardening. And it's also very important that we understand, look, scars are not deadly, they don't kill anyone. We've all got scars all over. We don't think, oh my God, I've got a scar, I'm gonna die. And the liver is much the same. Um, it can carry um, significant fibrosis up to 80, 90. Um, there's no reason to imagine I'm gonna die. If your, if your ultrasound is sort of zero to 10, your liver's working usually perfectly well. Um, and it's very important not to get into a blind panic. Um, we do these scans to give you advice to improve your diet, to get rid of toxins, to stop alcohol. Um, you've also got antiviral meds. All these things can improve your scan results. Then you've got <coughs> more market uh, fibrosis is up to sort of 12 um, and do remember the scale goes up to 75 you know there are people walking around with liver damage up to huge levels now although this is called fibrosis again remember um, there are many things you can do to improve yourself I remember I was diagnosed I think I was 29 KPI I'm now sort of six. So that's the power of, uh, of fighting back with decent diet, getting rid of paracetamol addiction, getting rid of alcohol use, getting into a fried, uh, oil-free diet. You can turn this around. Um, so moving on. Ultrasounds. Um, there are a few things that ultrasounds show up, and over the many years, we've found many patients going, oh, you know, what does this mean? Um, and uh, scores over 10, if they stay over 10, we would tend to use antivirals to control 
um, the fibrosis. And it's so important to remember that uh, Amitabh Bachchan, a famous Indian actor, his scan about 20 or higher, 75% of his liver that is fibrosis, cirrhotic. He's 77 years old. You know, you can live a long time as long as you manage it. It doesn't matter so much what fibrosis score you've got as long as the liver functions are good. Um, in the same way you can live to 100 with one kidney, um, the liver is an amazing organ. It can regenerate. Um, if we chop half a liver away uh, during liver cancer surgery, um, it grows back in four months. That's the power of the liver. Um, so regenerate with good care. Um, don't regard yourself as a, uh, a victim. You know, if, if you've got a bad score, well, we'll get it better. Improve it. Um, very important attitude to have with scans. Now, the ultrasound scans that show up things that worry patients. Um, you've got this thing where they talk in terms of hepatomengales. Now, this is um, really marks on the liver that are harmless. They're just birthmarks. Many people have them, and, and, and when they see, oh, I've got this, they panic, they get frightened. Don't. It's just a birthmark. Similarly, cysts. Um, I've got a cyst in my liver at the moment. About half of people may have a cyst on their liver. Um, a cyst is a harmless thing. It's a little sac filled with fluid. Um, we shouldn't get worried if we hear about that. Um, a brief enlargements of the liver. Um, a lot of patients um, pick up a bit of malaria, a bit of typhoid, some sort of infection, you know, a wound that's uh, gone pussy. All these types of things can often be occasion where the liver gets bigger to deal with something. Um, the liver gets bigger even when you eat a huge meal, so it's working hard to process stuff. So again, here what's the status of your liver from an ultrasound scan, but then take on board, I must work to make things improve. Um, it's your liver, it eats what you feed it, you're the medicine chest, and the biggest medicine chest is your kitchen. So make use of, of getting the right diet, less oil, less fry, less uh, processed meats. Uh, and feed your liver lots more fresh veg, fresh fruit. And it will improve. Uh, calcified grano granulomas. Um, another thing that's harmless in the liver. You know, it's a little bit of calcium. Something happened, it's gone away. Don't worry. The same thing with um, mild fibrosis. Uh, fibrosis up to sort of 8 or 9 or 10. You, you know, yeah, right, so there's some scars. But... 99% of the time with that, the liver is functioning very, very well. If we find that the HEP knee level is affecting the liver enzymes, well, we've got antivirals that will lower that. So it's very important when you've you know had the shock of, I've got HEP B, and then you have the shock of, all oh, my liver result, bloods aren't good, and then you find out that the scan is saying something's not right. It's important to realize that all of this does not mean you're ill. Very many patients are diagnosed and they're surprised they have hep B because they're perfectly well. Don't let all these scans and tests convince you you're dying is what I'm saying. Moving on, um, just a few scan results to give us a taster of, of what they look like. This ultrasound report is the most common, um, 80%. 70% of patients will get this, and it's the liver is normal in size, the border is smooth, everything echo pattern, parenchymal echo pattern is lovely, no uh, solid or fluid masses, great stuff. Normal ultrasound scan. Now here we see another one, and it says liver shows subtle coarse echo texture. And again, this is an abdomen scan, so it goes through everything, pancreas, yes, kidneys, spleen, all of it. But it, it, it's basically saying just a tiny bit of fibrosis there. 
nothing to worry about. I bet the person's liver tested great. It's so just progress. Moving on, we've got another scan here where hepatitis with fatty liver infiltration. Now, this is also a very common scan. Um, you've got the ones that are great, fine. The ones that have a little bit of fibrosis, and then you have the ones that have fatty infiltration. Again, stop the processed meat. Stop the oil and fry. Stop being overweight. Do some exercise. And this will dramatically improve. It's as simple as that. And then we go on to uh, one here where the chap's got a stomach ulcer, a peptic ulcer that's not happy at all. And um, there's a little brightness and patchy appearance in the liver parenchyma. Again, this is mild fibrosis. Um, the patient read this and was very, very worried by it. But the problem isn't really hepatitis. That's going all right. Then you've got this concern with the old soil that can be fixed. What is worrying with this patient is, is that the spleen has got a bleeding cyst. And the, the patient actually missed that. He's so busy worrying about Hep B that, you know, there's a need to deal with this. Um, and then we've got another ultrasound scan here. Um, no findings to stress cirrhosis. Um, and then there's a little lesion of 1.3 centimeters in the right lobe. Um, and they thought that that was fat. Um, uh, and this is a concern. So they'd have to check that. And that's one of the things we look for. You know, when you see a lesion, then we need to really get to the bottom of what that is. Um, some lesions are benign, but this is why we do scans, is, is we're looking for lesions. If you haven't got any lesions, well, we, you're actually hugely in very good shape. Um, uh, this is the old calcified gran granuloma. Um, so it's old and it's healed, and don't worry. And then we've got a uh, a bad one. This is this is what you don't want, but this is one where we'd have to swing into action with medication and um, a proper diet plan, a serious diet plan. Um, he's got obviously fibrosis, it's irregular outline, um, heterogeneous, it's shrunken cranial spans. And liver's actually shrunk and it doesn't look good. This is how my liver looked 15 years ago, funnily enough. Um, and as you look down here, uh, we're looking at liver cirrhosis. Uh, there's failure in the liver in that it's creating a lot of acytes that need draining. The spleen is is uh, not doing well either, um, which connects with the liver. Can be a similar problem, and then the, you've got a lot of tummy upsets, which is sort of messy status. Um, so with this, this is the sort of scan where where we really would need to do work on someone. Um, and here we go, uh, uh, a final scan, the liver's 6.4 kPa, uh, Dr. Patel is here saying uh, uh, basically, great, you know, you do not need any biopsy or treatment, your liver is working fine, uh, in essence a normal healthy liver, 6.4. And, uh, and that's the thing with scans, um, get them done. And realize nine times out of ten that they are there to reassure you that your hep B is not having a big effect on your health and not in any way um, affecting the ability of your liver to function well. Um, and here we see another, and we're going to move on to those next five scans.